All right, let's do this. Ooh, it's pretty, isn't it? Let's see the naked cover because that's usually my favorite part. Oh my God, look at this. It is beautiful. So this is Never Never by Serena Valentino. It's book nine in the villain series. And I am quite curious to read this one. It is quite short. Like I was not expecting it to be this short. I think it's barely 200 pages, like 250. So I, I don't know. I tend to really love Captain Hook's stories and like Peter Pan retellings. So I have high hopes for this one in that regard. Though you guys know that Serena Valentino tends to be a hit or miss author for me. I have loved some of the villains books. Some of them have been more of a miss. So hopefully this one will be a hit. I did enjoy the last one. So hopefully we'll continue to be in that direction. I also am excited to see how this will tie in with the rest of the series. I do think this is a book that ties in with the rest of the villains overarching story and not like a stem alone story like we did with Evil Thing, but I could be wrong. So yeah, let's just read and I'll update you guys once I've made a little bit more progress. So I've read the first 30 pages of Never Never, which means that so far I've read both the prologue and the first chapter. The first chapter didn't impress me, but the prologue did really entice me and made me want to read more. I feel like it really ties in the story in this one with the overarching storyline. So if you remember in the Odd Sisters, so book six, we left the Odd Sisters in limbo. So they were in this place that we don't really know about, but they were stuck there. So they were kind of imprisoned and the story hasn't really moved forward since then. Books seven and eight, so Evil Thing and Cold Hearted, were kind of pieces of the puzzle without necessarily being like the linear story. They didn't move the story forward, but they added information that we will need, I believe, for or like the next installments. And this prologue kind of solidified that. I really liked it. I liked the way that it was um, made to not only act as a reminder for people like me who haven't read a book in that series in a while, but also to kind of tell you where it's going. Because to be honest, like since book six, I haven't really felt sure of the direction that Serena Valentino was going in. And this kind of reassures me that she has a like an end goal in mind and we're not just like picking villains like one at a time in order to tell their stories like there's more to them than just their backstory I don't really know if I'm making sense right now but I wanted to read you that paragraph because to me that was when there was a light bulb moment and I was like oh my god okay I know where we're going now so it says James wasn't born to pirate life he was raised in London a rather mundane, non-magical realm where he was son to a grand lord and lady, well before the time of Lady Germaine and Cruella de Vil, but not so dissimilar from their own upbringings. You will notice that the last three entries in this book of fairy tales have worked their way back in time rather than moving forward. But as you will soon learn, time means nothing in the magical realms and even less so to those who rule the lands where the magic is as dense as the dead woods in the many kingdoms. So all of that to me means that I think in the next book we are going to be picking the story back up to where we left things off in book six. So we're going to be getting back with the Odd Sisters in a more prominent way. I think we're going to be moving the story forward once again instead of just adding more pieces to the puzzle the way that we've been doing for the last three books. So I am excited for the series to move forward and to like, continue because even though I've been enjoying the other books, I just feel like I, I was missing kind of like that sense of direction because I, I just wasn't seeing the overarching story that we had when we first started the series. So I'm excited to see where this one will go and what it will bring us. I have my theory as to who the next villain will be, but I will tell you at the very end of the video so that um, if there's any more clues in this book, I can maybe like have more than one theory or just solidify the one that I already have. I've had this feeling for a while about who the next villain will be, but I, I want to read this one in order to make sure that I have all of the clues before actually letting you know what my actual theory is. So I'm going to continue reading and hopefully I will enjoy this one. Like I said, the first chapter hasn't really convinced me so far. Like it was pretty average. If it hadn't been for the prologue, I think I wouldn't have been very convinced by this first chapter, but it's only the beginning of the story. So hopefully it will pick up from here.
All right, so I am now a little bit under halfway through Never Never, and so far, things have been very slow. I'll say if you like pirate adventures, I think you might like this because the vibes have been very much so like life on the boat type of thing. And I'm enjoying this, but not as much as I was hoping I would. So far, it's very average for me. I don't really have that many thoughts about the book so far like it's fine but it's not really grabbing my attention either however we are at the point in the book where Hook well at this point is not called Hook he's called James where James is going to be meeting the Odd Sisters and I have a feeling that from this point moving forward we'll be more into the Peter Pan retelling aspect of things because so far there hasn't really been a lot of action going on things have been happening but nothing that really is attention worthy in my opinion it has been hard for me to read this because I honestly couldn't really bring myself to care about the characters or where they're going though I do admit that the vibe and like the ambiance is nice and I also like how this is really tied in with the stories that we know from the rest of the series so I like how that has been playing out so far but other than that like there's not really much for me to grab onto. I just am not really interested in James as a character. I, I really wanted to love Hook more but so far it's a little bit boring like he's a proper gentleman and I just don't really care for that like I really want the villain side of him and I am excited to get to that point but I know it's going to take a while because this is his backstory. Overall I feel like I don't have much to share that's because I honestly don't have a lot to say. It's it's a fine book but it's nothing that's too enjoyable for me like it's it's okay it's just not fantastic or anything like that like it's it's fine. So I finished it and unfortunately I just found this to be incredibly boring. I don't know what to tell you. Honestly, I wanted to love this and it had all of the elements that usually would have made me enjoy this. I mean, we had a somewhat interesting storyline. We have different events that I would have liked to see in a novel like this. We have the characters from the rest of the series. We have like flashbacks from the past. We are getting forward in the series like there were a lot of elements that I typically would have enjoyed with this one but for some reason when you string them all together I just couldn't really bring myself to care about anything that was going on in this book I wanted to love this but for some reason it just didn't work for me and I don't know if it's a me thing meaning that I was not necessarily in the right headspace to read this at this time in my life or if it's just that the book was boring I mean let me know what you guys thought of this one in the comments down below because honestly I, I don't really know what to think about it and it's making it hard for me to rate actually because like objectively this was probably more of a three star but if I'm just talking about my enjoyment levels alone it's probably more of a two star read. So I don't really know how I'm going to rate this. I want to say it wasn't a terrible book but it wasn't what I wanted out of it and I think it's one of my least favorite in the series. It felt like a filler book. It didn't feel like there was much going on for it except to tie us over after what happened in like the Odd Sisters and what I'm guessing is going to be happening moving forward. Which kind of brings me to talk about my theories for the rest of the series because I did mention at the beginning of the video that I wanted to share my theories as to where the story will go from here. So which villains do I think is going to get featured in the next villains novel? So my theory and I think it has been hinted at pretty strongly throughout the series, I think we're going to be getting an 80s book. Now, I don't know if it's going to be the next one per se, but we've seen a lot of different mentions of 80s throughout the story. To me, it would make the most sense that he would be the next villain. I think it's also what could bring us back to the present timeline in the rest of the series. Well, to the Odd Sisters timeline. I think that would be the best way for us to get back there, and I think Hades would be the villain to get us there. Now, do I think it's necessarily going to be the next one. I don't know. I don't know what the author has announced. I don't know if anything has been announced by the author or the publisher, but I know at some point we're going to be getting a Hades story. If it's not Hades, I would like to see maybe a Queen of Hearts retelling. I think that would be interesting. And it's also one that we've seen mentioned in the rest of the series. So that could be interesting. I would also maybe like to see a Dr. Facilia story because we've never seen anything from The Princess and the Frog so far and anything that Disney has published. I know there's a Tiana book that's coming out this fall for the Twisted Tale series but other than that like we've never really seen Dr. Frisillier or like the Princess and the Frog story featured in any of the retellings that I've seen from Disney so that could be interesting. I would also maybe love to see a Jafar story. I think that could be very fun. So yeah those are my guesses but I think my strongest feeling is that the next book is going to be about Hades. So hopefully that's what we'll 
we'll be seeing. I'm excited to see what's in store. I have a feeling that this series is going to be continuing for a little while, so I am curious to see what Serena Valentino has in store, and hopefully I will enjoy the next one more than I did this one. So that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys thought of this book in the comments down below, and I guess that's it, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!